Have you ever wondered what the inside of a valve looks like and how it actually works? Today we're going to look at a ball valve, a butterfly valve, a gate valve, a globe valve, and a check valve, and we're going to show you the inside of them. First of all, I want to say thank you to Ferguson. This video is sponsored by Ferguson and Ferguson hooked us up with F&W and look what F&W did for us. F&W actually cut the valves open. Now, we teamed up with Ferguson as a sponsorship because of what they do for plumbers and the plumbing community. They've done great things for us. And if you want to purchase any of these F&W valves, go to ferguson.com and check them out. And again, I want to say thanks to F&W for making this happen. A ball valve is one of the most popular valves that plumbers use. We use them on the water heater inlet side. I've seen some plumbers use them on the water heater outlet side and also on the yard service where it comes in at the house. And here in Texas, we're probably gonna start putting them out by the meter. Now this is an inch and a half threaded ball valve. And the cool thing about it, as you see, like I said, they've already cut it open for us. And when you service the valve, when you turn it, you can actually see how that ball rotates in there and completely shuts off. Now, okay, it's not gonna completely shut off because we've cut part of the ball valve out. But as you see where the threads would go all the way around, you get a stainless steel ball there that actually stops the water flow. Now, plumbers like these because they actually, it's a full port valve. As you can see looking in here, the inside of this is actually the same size diameter as the inside of the pipe. So there is no flow restriction here. Now that's a threaded ball valve, but we also have a normal sweat ball valve. Now this is also an inch and a half sweat ball valve by F&W and just such a smooth rotation there. Now one thing that I thought was really neat, and I don't know if y'all will be able to see it, but right down in here, you can see where this piece and this piece are actually threaded together. You can actually see the threads right there and that's why I love the way they've got this cut open. And you can see the neoprene lining in here that actually seals off on the valve to make sure that no water gets through there. This is a good tight seal, up to 600 pounds of pressure on this. Now, I've always wondered what the inside of these look like and to have F&W cut them open for us and get them for us, this has been fantastic. So anyway, ball valves, probably the most popular valves plumbers use. And now you've seen the inside of it. Okay, so apprentices always ask me, what's the difference in a globe valve and a gate valve? First of all, I wanna show you a gate valve because this is what plumbers used to use all the time. And we actually use these coming into houses, but now we've gone to a ball valve. As you see, when you rotate this up top, when you actually cycle it, the gate comes up and down. And that's why it's called a gate valve. When the gate comes down like this, that's what actually shuts the water off. You wanna be real careful though, when you tighten it up, those threads at the bottom, you wanna be careful you don't over tighten it because if it's an old valve, those threads may get weak. And if you tighten it down too much, they may break. And when you go to open it, it may never open again. Now, this is a gate valve. Remember the gate drops up and down. So the other valve is the globe valve. Now, as you see, water comes in here and then turns up. And this globe right there is actually what controls the water flow. So when you shut it down, you've got a neoprene gasket on the end that actually seals right down on the bottom to stop any water from flowing through there. When you open it back up, the more you open it, the more space opens and the more water flow you're gonna get through there. Now this valve, this FNW valve is rated at 200 pounds of pressure. So this actually shows you the difference between the gate valve and the globe valve. Now both these are threaded, but you can see the difference on the insides. Now this is the F&W check valve. It's a gravity check, not a spring check because there's no spring in here. So this has to be installed on the top because your water flow is gonna come this way and actually open the check. So any water pressure coming through here is gonna push on through. But if water shut off on this end and an increase in pressure here, it's actually gonna push that and that's gonna stop water from back flowing through it. Now I like this and I love the way that they have this cut open. That way you can see how the swing actually works. And again, you've got that neoprene lining in there so that you get a good clean seal right there on the seat whenever it sets down. And as you know, you can undo the nut on top to clean anything out and get in there and check it if you ever need to. So I love these butterfly valves. I installed many of these whenever I was doing industrial work. Different sizes, different types, but butterfly valves are a great way to lock down water. And I love them because for lockout tag out, they're really nice. Now, you've got a CF8M disc and a stainless steel stem to go with the EPDM seat. So when you squeeze these and turn these, you always know that your handle tells you where the seat is. Is it open or is it closed? So this way coming across, you know that it's closed. You know that your disc is actually shutting off the water. You squeeze it to unlock it and then you rotate it. 
I didn't squeeze it all the way because I wanna show you, you've got a little bit of an opening right there. But you squeeze this, rotate it around to the lock position. Now, butterfly valves are normally used in industrial piping where maybe you've got soldered flanges or maybe even weld or CPVC flanges. You can attach different type flanges to these. This is a great valve and it's easy to change out. Changing out a butterfly valve is really a simple process to do. Now you may have to freeze a line, you may have to shut off water, but it's great to have these in a system to where you know you can just look up and see, is that valve open, is that valve closed? And when it comes to lock out, tag out, it's another great thing to have. So I wanna say thank you again to FNW for cutting these valves open and getting them to us so that we could see inside of them, how they're built and how they work. Look, have you ever seen the inside of a valve before? Because I haven't. Now, don't get me wrong, I've seen inside where maybe I tried to solder one and burned up the gasket and heard it pop and had to replace it. But being able to look inside of them like this, this is really cool. So again, thank you to FNW. And again, thank you to Ferguson.com, not only for sponsoring my channel, but for all that they do for the plumbing community. If you haven't been there, go over to Ferguson.com and check it out. And if you haven't done it yet, jump over and join the Ferguson Facebook group. That way you can get involved in the conversations over there. And if you have seen the inside of a valve before, let me know. Did somebody cut it open for you? Did you cut it open or did you see the inside of it for all the wrong reasons? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I was really excited to see these when they came in. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.